This is Simon Stark, and in this video we will be looking at completing the square and sketching quadratics. So first of all we have to know when to complete the square and how you do it. And when a quadratic function will not factorise easily, it is necessary to complete the square. And completing the square is also especially useful to determine maximum and minimum points on a graph, and this will come in useful later when we look at sketching quadratics. But next we need to know how to complete the square. And the basic formula is x plus b over 2a squared plus q. And the q is the thing that you have to find. So the first question we've got is x squared plus 16x plus 10. And in this formula, x is obviously just x. b is equal to 16 because b is the one in the middle there. And then we're going to have um, a is going to be equal to 1 because it's the coefficient and that's 1 there. So this is a, this is b, and we don't need c, but if there was a c, this would be c. So next we have to know actually how to do it. And as we've got x there, you start off with x and then we put b in it, which is going to be 16 over 2 times 1, which is 2. And then this is squared and then plus q. Now, this is obviously going to be simplified to x plus 8. And that will be squared. So then we have to work out what x plus 8 squared actually is. And it's going to be x squared, because x times x is x squared, um, plus 16x because we've got 8x and 8x together, and then 8 times 8 will be 64. Now, if you see, this looks fairly similar to our original answer of x squared plus 16x plus 10, and here we've got x squared plus 16x plus 64. Now, the only thing that's different is the 64 and the 10. So how do we get this away? And this is how we find the Q. So what we do is to get them equal to each other, you do 10 minus 64 is equal to minus 54. Now that is then your answer if you add it all together because now we have X plus 8 squared minus 54 and that is exactly the same as x squared plus 16x plus 10 which is our original thing but however here we have completed the square. So this is the particular graph of x squared plus 16x plus 10. And as we've just completed the square, now we can see how we use this to sketch graphs. And the way we do this is from, we can see the minimum point. Now we know it's going to be a minimum point here because it's x squared. If it was minus x squared, it would be a maximum point as it would be, the curve would be the other way round. And we can also see the point of intersection. So first of all, if we look here, we can see the minimum point. And this is the minimum point here. And we can see that on the y-axis is going to be minus 54. And if we scroll up, it's on this line here, that point there, which is going to be minus 8. So how do we get that? So this is the completed the square version again of x plus 8 squared minus 54. And this is where we can find our minimum x and our minimum of y. And basically, if it's in the brackets, you do the opposite of what you expect. And if it's outside the brackets, it's exactly the same. So you can see here that minimum x, so you would think it might be 8, but because it's inside the brackets, it will be minus 8. So that means that x there is going to be minus 8 here. And then y is this, just this value here, which is minus 54. So therefore, you know that your minimum point overall minimum min mn point is going to be equal to you put the x value first so that is going to be equal to minus 8 minus 54 and that's the one that we just saw on the graph 
So the last thing we need to do with this is find the point of intersection. And to do this, we have to make it equal to zero. So now it's equal to zero, it's a bit easier to work with and you just have to rearrange to find x. And to do this, first of all, we'll make it 8x plus 8 squared is going to be equal to 54. And that's getting the 54 away because we're going to add 54 to both sides. So that's going to add 54 to this side, it's going to take it away. Add 54 to this side is going to equal 54. So then we want to get the square root away. And in order to do that, you simply do x plus 8 is equal to plus or minus root 54. And remember that it's plus or minus because that's very important as it will give you the two answers. So now you finally you have to do x is going to be equal to you minus 8 from both sides to get that 8 away is going to be minus 8 plus or minus 54. And this answer should be sufficient unless they say give it to one decimal place or two decimal place. But that is your two answers there. However, I will just do it just in case. And this is just simply typing minus 8 plus or minus root 54 into your calculator, which will give you 0 0.65 and minus so it's minus 0 0.65 and also minus 15.3. And that is your points of intersection. Um, and those are the two points of intersection. So here we've done the points of intersection and the minimum maximum point, And this has been done by completing the square. So finally, we're going to go through one more example. And the only thing that's slightly hard about this is there is a larger number than 1 over the x squared. But still, it's fairly simple and it still follows the basic steps. So if you remember, first of all, we'll just complete the square. And if you remember what we did before, the x plus b over 2a squared plus q. So here it will be exactly the same, um, but we'll have to do x plus and then to get the b is 12 over 2a is 6 so 12 over 6 is going to be 2 and this is squared now the only thing we do different is we put a 3 at the front and this is just the 3 of the a and that's the only real difference and then this will be plus q so then to um, factorize this out you're going to get x squared plus 4x plus 4 and we can't forget about that 3, so this will be in brackets with the 3 at the front, and then you can use a 3 to multiply it all out. And I would just multiply it all out now to get 3x squared plus 12x plus 12. So we've nearly finished now, we just have to find that Q value, which is that one there, um, but that is fairly simple to get, and it's the same step as what we did last time of 5 minus 12, and that's equal to minus 7. So there we are, we've basically completed the square now, um, and that's minus 7. So we've got 3x plus 2. Uh, square that and then you have minus 7 and that's the first step done and if a question simply asks you for that that's all you need to give but now if you want to think about sketching the graph more we're going to have to find the minimum and maximum values and unfortunately there's going to be no maximum values now this is because it's an x squared which means there's only going to be minimum values so we're looking for a minimum value so the minimum value is going to be um, minus 2, minus 7. And you don't really need to show any working for this because it's quite simple. As long as you understand that you get the minus 2 because x plus 2, that means that x is going to be equal to minus 2. And the y comes from this, which doesn't change. So this is going to be minus 7. So the final bit, which is a tiny bit harder, is finding the points of intersection. And if we write it out one more time, this is going to be 
x plus 2 squared and then that's going to be minus 7 and then you're going to equal that to 0 and the question as well equals it to 0 and normally if, it equals to, if it's equal to 0 it wants you to actually work out what x is and if a question asks for what is x this is what it's asking for so then we're going to get 3 x plus 2 squared and we're going to hit, add the 7 to both sides so that's going to be equal to 7 and this is where the 3 comes in because the 3 gives one extra step in this apart from that it's all the same but this is going to be the, the extra step is here and x plus 2 squared is going to be equal to 7 divided by 3 so now this part's squared, so we're going to have to square root at that to get x plus 2 is equal to plus or minus the root of 7 over 3. And again, remember that plus or minus is extremely important, and many people end up with just one answer because they forget about it. Now that means that finally you have your answer is x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus root 7 over 3. And that is your final answer as it gives two answers um, of put the points of intersection. So this is the final sketch graph of 3x squared plus 12x plus 5. And from completing the square, we've been able to get the minimum point here. And we've also been able to get the points of intersection. And if you can see the points of intersection, the actual values of the points of intersection is around minus 3.5 to minus 3.6. And the other one over here is around minus 0.4 to minus 0.6. You can get a proper answer by typing our answer onto the calculator. Then you've also got the minimum point, which is here. And that minimum point is, as shown, minus 2 and minus 7. So there we are. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you understood it. And I'll see you soon. Bye.